Hello, this is uh, Russell Scott from scottcarvings.com. And what I uh, plan for today is to start kind of a, a little series on carving uh, Santa, uh, Santa faces, uh, Santa busts. Uh, and I'm going to try to get back into carving more Santas. And right now, uh, Christmas is long over uh, this year. As a matter of fact, today is the first day of Valentine's Day. It's the only day. The reason why I'm, I'm carving Santas now instead of in September, October, November is because then I don't have any time to create any wood carving videos. So uh, I, this would be a good time for me to, to carve uh, Santas, a teacher show car, carving Santas. By the time you see this, this probably would be the right time for you to, to carve Santas uh, for this, this year's Christmas. Uh, the other thing is, is that I've always encouraged people to carve their Santas uh, early in the year because, uh, like you, you will get kind of busy during those months, and you got to hurry up and get those Santa carvings done. And all of a sudden, it's Christmas, and you haven't gotten any, hardly any of it done. So, do a lot of your carvings right now. The second thing that um, I want to do is, my plan is, is that I want to go back to some of my old. Uh, wood carvings, Santa wood carvings especially, and use the same patterns and to carve, um, you know, recarve them. The thing is, is that I've, for the past couple of years, I've, I've learned a lot more about uh, wood carving and wood carving techniques. And so I looked at some of my old videos and they're kind of embarrassing. But anyways, uh, I was thinking about, this is just a, a thought, or hopefully I, I will do this, is, is to go back and uh, car recarve them, I start from scratch, of course, using uh, what I've learned recently, and, uh, and then eliminate those videos. Like I said, they are quite embarrassing. So that's what the, the plan is. And uh, so anyways, <laughs> so anyways with that, I might uh, get started. Uh, this is a, uh, a Santa bust, and uh, let's get started. <laughs> As I mentioned, I'm going to be doing some Santas and some Mrs. Santas. I'm just, uh, this is just a, uh, a little go-by prototype, as it were. This is a practice piece, as it were. And this is what we're going to carve. And this is off uh, an inch and a half piece of wood. So I've graduated to a <coughs> two by two and a half. And what I did is I took, well, the others I have taken off. This is upcoming, some of the upcoming pieces. There's not really a pattern to go by other than you just take a, a two and a half by two and then take a half, a quarter off on either side. So we can have a little bit of a, a shoulder. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more about where the shoulder would go. Uh, what the plan is, like I said, the plan is that I'm going to make a set of Santa busts. The purpose of this, as I've mentioned before, is I am going to, um, <clears throat> this is more, I'm going to try to be as slow and careful and, and concise and, and whatever uh, with these pieces. Uh, I, my plan is that I'm going to uh, make some more, or carve some more Santas, and then when I get to the face, I'm going to uh, go a little faster uh, with the face and uh, by looking at these I've, I've already the thing about doing a little you know a, an inch square or an inch and a half square practice piece is then you can see all the mistakes I mean I could see quite a bit of mistakes that I've made on these I don't know if you could see them and so on uh, but the the plan is I'm going to go in this order left to uh, right to left pardon me Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Old World Santa, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, and that's what uh, I'm going to do is the face and just let's let's go on and move on. Now I've got like I said an inch and a half or two and a half by two. In this particular case, I'm going to keep. 
I probably could have cut one side off because I wanted to keep an extra piece and make a much larger ball here. See, we only had so much going on as far as the wood. <clears throat> so let's go here. Uh, here are my array of tools. Now it's really hard for me to, to, to talk much about. Gee whiz, what tools you got? What size? What? Well, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the regular, uh, I'll call it a rough out knife. Just a regular knife. And mine is uh, o -O 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 -C, o -O -C -T. <clears throat> And the other knife I got is called a Scout, also from OCCT, pardon me, OCCT. Uh, it's a smaller blade. I'm going to get into it as we get as we get uh, you know into you know closer to the details and also details. Uh, you got to have a nice V. This is a larger V. Now I'm going to I'm going to say the word V tool. Okay, let's go to say because it's a V tool. You look at it, it's V. Okay, and it's also an L tool. It's kind of L. Uh, the reason why is you may want to have the blade up high, like when it comes to, for example, we'll use our L tool here because we want to keep the the mass mustache higher, or we're going to keep the 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 face lower and the the hat higher. So V V and L. When the L goes the other direction, sorry, is it? Oh. Uh oh. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I got an array of <clears throat> number 11s of different sizes, and it's kind of hard to, which, what's the millimeter? This one I think is like about a 3 millimeter, and this is about a 14 millimeter, and, and everything in, in between. Uh, these two here have a whiter difference between the two that's that's what my plan is i'm going to have another tool there shortly and then i'll bring up other tools i've got like a, a smaller smaller v a smaller um a, a number nine and i am going to use some of these most of these will use more often with the ladies than it will be with the men folk and with that, enough boring chit chat. Let's get going. As I have mentioned, I am. This is completely different, and some of this will be quite a bit different than what I have taught from my other videos. As I said, I've learned quite a bit, and with that, I've experimented not only with what I've learned, but also experimented on my own. So, right off the bat, oh, another tool that I didn't mention to bring up that I like to have as a good rough-out tool, and that is a, where is he? Forgot to, I've used this before. This is my number five, oh my goodness, uh, 25 mil. And it's, well, it's, it's hard for me when people ask, well, what tool, what tool, what size, what, I mean, it's a tool that does the job as long as it's sharp. Uh, this is a number five. This will be, I would use that a lot. Let's put my scout over here. And I would may use this for roughing out. Now, one of the things I did forget to bring over is I always like to have a second glove, a cuticle glove, because, you know, when you're getting in there and sometimes... The cuticles will hit uh, the wood or it's a little uncomfortable in the palm. And I like to make nice long swipes. One of the things I've mentioned before, I'll mention again while I'm taking this off, is I highly recommend that you take a flat plane carving, it's Nor Norwegian style flat plane carving and they teach you about swipes long or as Harley Russell would call it the nice facets and he would just long swipes now if you're just beginning and you just uh you know gotta take one piece at a time sorry 
one piece at a time, so be it. But practice a nice long. Make sure the fingers out of the way swipes. Oops. And that is the other thing what I did right here is to try to avoid is burying the tip. Because what happens when you bury that tip and you then you get this chip. And you don't want that. The other thing that I have mentioned before, and I will mention again, the one thing I really hate is the scrape. In other words, you you put the knife down, you're supposed to cut. You put the knife down, and you you figure out how where it's going to come up or where it's going to come out. But sometimes if you don't put down, put it down far enough, it'll skirt across and you get the scraping. Let me see, like here. I can't. It'll happen. So it's kind of hard for me to uh, to show you. I hate to scrape. And the reason why is because the angle of the knife, you need to bring the angle of the knife a little down farther. Okay, here's one of the things I wanted to do. The thing that I've mentioned before that I've kind of changed a little bit or quite a bit is I've always thought with the Santas, you, you carve... Uh, you start with the nose and you work your way out. So now there's in, then out. Yeah, it's mostly good. But especially when you get into, like, the ladies, you carve out coming in. And I've changed that up just a little bit uh, because especially in this case here, I want to dedicate, like I said, this piece as to where I'm going to put the uh the ball now in this case here it depends on where you want to put it uh, i'll put the ball in the same spot so, it's, so it isn't quite different but you may want to where's my pencil you know since we got more wood here just put the put the uh the hat and the ball in the back because you got more wood now uh, uh when i rough when i'm roughing out uh, i'm going to have this nice wider and then as we get closer and we start doing details, then I'll get uh, closer up and as close as I can. And I did fix my lighting situation that I had before. Oops, sorry. And I am going to warn you that when it comes, especially when I put the visor on and we start doing details, I will be banging into this camera. So it's going to be very annoying. But I thought I'd let you know about that. So let's move on then. I will do, like I said, I will do just this to commit where the ball is going to be, how this is going to come down, and where the ball is going to be. Let's just put it here. A nice, a big ball. We can always make it smaller. And I'm going to do something like this. This is... I hope, is that what I did here? No, I didn't do that there. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do that different here. Is this. You can ha also have this design where it's more triangular. Whoops. Triangular. Or in this particular case, a little triangle. Let's go a little more. And the main thing we're doing here is we're, we're committing to the ball. And we want to put that in before we get a little whack happy. I do that a lot. I start whacking, whacking the wood right away. And what's going to happen is, of course, and I think we might have even more uh, space to, to have a bigger, bigger ball there. And put that there. I can do that without hurting myself. So again, here we go with the chisel, the V tool. This will be a V instead of an L uh, because I think we got plenty of wood here. Here, oh, here, let me demonstrate what I mean. See, this is the V tool where you put the V straight down, but in this particular, in a case like this, maybe I want to have that ball a little square. Then I'll use the L tool. And of course, you could see again, this is what happens when you bury the, the edges. Here, let me get that little, and then you see when you bury those edges then you get that chippy we're okay I'm gonna 
trying to bring the table back so so it don't bang. Sorry for the delay. Okay, let's get this. Oh, I'll just continue with the L tool. Am I still in? I will be doing that a lot. I do that a lot where I will stop and look up and make sure I'm in the camera because there has been several, a lot of people have complained and rightfully so that I'm not. I'll be carving and carving and carving and carving. Can you see this right here? Ah, that's what you got to do right there. You got to pay attention. Are you paying attention? Whoops. So I've done that many times. I'll try to. I got a little. I got one of my little barriers here that that'll help. Now this kind of bugs me that that demonstration there. I'll get the knife to it. All right. So this kind of this commits. To that I might want to take the V tool again. It could be V because there's gonna be plenty that comes out. And then sometimes I might get too lazy and I just want to take some pieces off while I have the V tool and I will and and this V tool will come in handy as a flat edge uh, later on. I mean not so much right now. And I just want to show you right here that it could be used as a as your straight edge. Actually, it rounds a little bit, so it's probably maybe like a number number one or a number two chisel. But it's, I'm just doing that to show you I should be using the knife for another chisel. So let's take, the, let's get the knife up. Um, now one of the, the other things that I've learned, I think it's a little difficult here, but I'm going to try, I, I can't just, is to put the thumb down when you push and you get nice better cleaner cuts let me see if this will work see use the the knife use the knife use your thumb long sweeps i got the tip in that's that's the reason why see what you want this is what i'm trying to I, i'm sure i'll be doing this but i'm going to aim for this a little bit flat in other words the the blade is straight down. Oops, there's that scrape I was telling you about. It's very annoying. You get some nice clean cuts. Let's say relatively clean. I'm talking about this here. Let's take just a little bit of the corner off. Now we're just getting started here. Let's just take some of the edge, this edge off. Longer, cleaner cuts. Let me see if we can. A single slice. Straight. If you have to take little cuts in order to get the, the job done, then do that. I just like longer cuts. Now, I did mention I was going to try to slow down as much as I can here for you. Let me clean this up a bit. thumb down. It's kind of difficult to do that when you're blocking out like this. So I am going to, the next thing I want to quickly do is just take some, take some of the corners off just to, so it's easier to handle just a little bit because there's this, it's not going to be particularly square. And you could use this as a practice piece. Well, it is a practice piece what I'm talking about. Or you can actually make a, a, a bust out of it so it's real so it's functional or or you can actually paint it and put it up on the your cupboard, your bookshelf. Okay. There's the commitment and we are just practically basically starting. Now here's here's the understanding, the philosophy of um, I'm gonna take the ruler here, maybe ruler make this thing more complicated is that the the head in other words the top pardon me is relatively basically the same as from the top of that where the skull is down to the chin but unfortunately with Mr. Santa here we don't know where the top of the crown is and where the chin is and we're just going to have to kind of figure figure it out my figuring is 
that the head come up, and it's okay to have way more hat. Pardon me. So I'm thinking like the, the skull would be like about here, and the chin will be here. Now, one of the things also I want to mention quickly is that where the shoulder lies, it's going to be quite a bit different when we do the misses as we do the, the misters. Misters, we can get away with a lot of stuff. Now, usually, um, like especially uh, if you're doing like a slender, young uh, female, then it'd be more of a long neck to get down to the shoulder. But with the Santa, we want to get, it, get away with, there's the chin, probably the shoulder here. And that's what I did. So the shoulder is like here. All right. So you can either take the ruler and I can go. The skull is going to be basically this. Now we're going to be cutting some of that off too. So uh, this is one of the things I, I, I got it screwed up with my uh, old world Santa is that um, the face does look a little longer. So. But this is at least a general, at least for you to understand, because you may want to pull it back a little bit. Uh, maybe you want the face be a little longer, but at least you would know. So it's like about here-ish. And then if I go where the hat, so the chin is going to go here-ish. Let's do that again. Here to here. I'm going to do this a little bit with the hat. So now let's go to about here. Oops. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, this would be a good to uh, do a little bit of shameful advertisement is uh, the reason why I want to bring this up. This is where I got my my uh, v, my uh, round tools, the Stubai uh, Willock Woodcarving uh, dot com, also known as the Whitland Shack. Look up Whitland Shack and ask for Chris's. So he'll send you out a, a brochure of all of his Stubai from Austria. And uh, it has the little curvature on the on the brochure for what you want. Okay. So, anyways, as long as it's nothing political, we don't want to do any of that. I mean, after all, I'm always right. Everybody's wrong, you know. Anyways, so that's where I think the chin is, and therefore the shoulder will be about here-ish. He's got kind of a small neck. Now, that's why I'm doing this in pencil. Now, the arc, it is an arc, a little bit. It's a shallow arc. You can go straight across. It's probably about the same. So, and we're not, this is pencil, so we're not totally committing. So, we're getting the feel. We're going to be shrinking the head a little bit. But, uh, and as other people would, is probably saying right now, you forgot your center line. And yes, I did. Just because of that, just for that, if instead of, because eh, like I said, it's an inch and, no, all right, I got that. I did get it right. Two and a half, that would be an inch and a quarter. And if you're off by a little bit, well, that's really crooked. But anyways. So I am going to pencil in so you could just understand. Uh, the, the penciling is going to go away as we carve, but I'm going to give you just a quickie here. So I would say the hat So a little bit. So just a little less because we're going to have the hat. And I say it's about here. So yes, I am right that the skull, when I kind of measured, is about here-ish. Let's go here, maybe a little squattier. We can adjust it. And then in the center will be our eye line. You can use the ruler if you want. One of the things when I'm doing this is uh, um, I want to advertise. I advertise wood carving uh, or woodcarvingacademy.com. It's got a lot of good classes. Uh, well, you got uh, Dave Stetson and Ryan Olson and Dwayne Gosnell and oh my goodness, the others. It's really interesting. Uh, Dave Stetson gave a demonstration. He's doing his head, head, demo, head uh, well, showing you how the head works. And he actually took the ruler to his eye and looked in the camera. And you will see that his eye is like about here. So in other words, um, I always say aim for perfection. And then you got that little extra. 
So nobody is perfect. I wonder, I never put put that on my look in the mirror. But for the sake of the Santa. And then what we're going to do, about half. Again, uh, from the eye to the nose and then to the mouth, is you know, in thirds. But I go half. Uh, main reason is because this is a Santa Claus. You can have a big honker. And uh, well, maybe it's a little longer there. You can always bring it back. And again, uh, a good chunk of the, the chin is going to be covered. And you can always bring bring that back. Okay. And we're going to have just kind of look at this this way a little. Like I said, a good chunk of that is going to disappear. But this is what we're going to go on. The eyes are going to be like here. Nose is here. Mustache. Uh, maybe the hat will come down. I'll probably have the hat here. The tuff is here. And I think that may be a bit too big for this. That's the reason for pencil. You get it. See, I, I wrote that in there and I looked at it. No, it's too big. Let's bring the nose up just a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Again, this is all going to go away. But this one of the things I like doing is just getting a feel of, of what's about to happen. Now, it's going to be bigger than this one because this is a bigger piece of wood, obviously. So I can't take take the ruler on to that. I'm just going to use this as, as kind of how I'm going to do things. And so here comes another boring part. Now, if uh, if I happen to bring this too close as I'm taking a lot of the lumber off. I'll go, it's like this. So if I do bring it too close. And we're just about going to make, make sure that your tools are sharpened, which that's what I did before I got here. And I'm just going to try to get about up to the nose. Same on this direction. That's the thing about doing this is you put a lot of weight and a lot of a lot of energy into it and it's like what do you got to you know from Minnesota we don't have earthquakes but make sure I don't cut into the too much oh I'm burying the edge up to the nose as best we could Now, before we get too close and start moving a lot, one of the, lot of the pencil marks is that we do want to keep our eye line is like the most important. Oops. Let me open my eyes wider so I can see. And we don't lose it. And now we can take and we just want to take the the uglies off there i want to commit to this am i still in like i said i will come out you could take this to uh, the bandsaw if you want and i'm still going to keep things a little wide here we can always come back. So we're going to get some more of that, much more of that ball and working our way in. And to tell you the honest truth, I don't like that. I think it's still too wide. As a matter of fact, uh, obviously, when I was showing you the, the distance between here and the distance be here, between here and here, uh, it should be quite a bit less. What is it, two-thirds? So it should be instead, sorry, let me let me look at this again. This See, that is, yeah, you get starting to get narrower. I think I might want a little bit more. But I, I want hair, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that because we've got hair, we've got beard, we got 
all kinds of other stuff. So again, let me take my V tool and oops and get up at the top. Oh, up the top, I can try to round that a little more. Take a little bit of the straight edge there. So I'm going to do roughly the same in the back, round almost to the point of it coming together like we did in the front. And now we're really taking a lot of the lumber off. Oops, I buried the edge. And then I'm going to take a bit of this off maybe a little bit more off here on the edge while I'm coming back I want to take just a, just to get this started We're talking, we haven't hardly got to the face. We did a little bit. We talked about the face, but as far as getting it into, there's a lot of setting up. And if you're doing a carving, especially a, a Santa carving, I buried the edge again, is uh, we'll have a lot of this out. But we talk about the face. Burying the tip, or the edge, pardon me. So I'm going to take a little bit of the edge off of there. Now again, I was hoping to go a much slower. Oops much slower pace, but the roughing out, I want to bang through as much as I can. I mean, this is way a time you can turn the video off and catch up. I've done that a lot, especially with the, um, with the classes, uh, wood carver, academy, wood carver, wood carving, academy.com and sometimes I get to a point where okay I got what he's talking about I can kind of just kind of move it ahead and then catch up I've done that a few times I got the gist Continue through, follow through, get straight down, straight across, straight, hopefully straight down. And I'm trying the best I can to use as little tip as I can. Instead of what I have <laughs> said before, it still kind of works if you're you're good with the tip. You know, bring the tip down, and I always say, bring that butt end up. But in this case, as much as the edge close to the tip in a case like this. You get a cleaner cut. Much cleaner cut. There are times when you will have to use a tip. I'm not saying... You don't, I mean, I'm not going to now, but a good example is this. I will be doing some undercutting. And what it does is it'll, it'll separate these two pieces. And it will um, give you shadow. But right now, I am just cutting wood. 
I'm just getting wood off. That's all I'm doing. And that's what I'm doing. I'm rounding. I'm doing the boring work right now. The hard work. The work in which you could, if you want to, turn turn this off and catch up. Oops. I hate that chattering too. Let's see. Here's a good here's where you want to watch out with that chattering. Another thing it does is a and usually that happens like when you have the, the wider blade. When you're going to do a curve like that, you want to have the oh still, and you're going to do, and you're going to do uh, the the thinner part of the blade, and then you're going to slice or push at the same time. Get some of that saw mark off. There's a little bit of chatter, but flat or straight in rather. I'm still going to do just a little bit more, a little bit more here, not too much more. Right there, here's a thus far and again things could move that pencil the eye line I'm going to keep uh, do I want it to have the nose just as long rounding off there's going to be still quite a bit more especially when we get into like the back here uh, we want to make sure we have extra on the the tufts the fur and that's what we that's why it's a little wider because then we're going to go off of that we're going to push in for the for the hair, we're going to push in for the top. So I always keep that in, in mind. Okay, I had to take a little break to take my sh one of my first layers off. Got the heater next to me. Okay, so here's what I want to get started. I want to commit a little bit to the tufts or the... Um, Fur. So right about here and I want it to go down we don't want it to go around well we're going to go around but we want it to go down so it's back center line here now this particular model, as you can figure out, he's not had a head turn or anything like that. We just want just to do a head, a demo. Uh, what's going? I'm going to pencil this in, so he's going to have a little bit of long hair and the beard. Well, more of a, a flat beard instead of a sharp beard. Just kind of pencil it in. See, it's looking. Pretty decent. And while I took the break, I did get my cuticle protecting glove. Now this glove here, he has seen better days, but you know what? He's still, as long as the fingers are good and the, most of the palm is good. Um, this is just a, a particular, just a dollar store garden glove here. So nothing, nothing big or something you have to buy exactly what I got. And then we're going to use the owl tool. Like I said, we're going to take uh, the bad thing about using the owl tool is you do tend to bury that edge. Bring the owl tool the other direction. Am I still in? Like I said, I'm still kind of doing a little bit of roughing out. I'll bring it a little, maybe I should still bring it a little. Take the chance and bring it a little closer here. Now, I'll do that in the next round. Nope, nope, put this, keep this back on. And 
take up some of this. I'll forgive the roughness of it. I am. Now I can bring this a little more. We'll go any farther. Bring this in a little bit. Oops. And we're going to cut, give some more thickness to the ball. Now forgive the roughness of this. I, I'll come back with the knife, but I just want to, the knife could have, could have done this a quite good enough job. And, a little bit of a scoop. It does take quite a bit off when you got a big tool like this and you now you're, you're I'm twisting my wrist I'm just I'm pulling with my wrist when I pull it towards me I don't put it in like this and just push it towards me and so and again I'm pretty far away on the camera because I'm just doing the rough out I want to keep keep the tone of my voice up because I do tend to bring the the sound of my voice down. And one of the camera is right next to me. I wonder if I can bring up the volume, the recording volume, or am I really that am I really that quiet? Now the next thing I want to do in roughing out, and since this is the top, it's going to go a little bit like this. Just a little bit, actually a lot of bit, but so a lot of that is going away and that's good to have this tool when you're doing the top, the edge, the top, edge, you top, end, that's it, that's the way to get there. Now I want to be careful here, I want to take too much off right away here, close to the, I can here. So I want to commit more to, to that. Now this is going to come down like this. And this is going to go as forward as I can. i got to remember the tough or the fur. The fur is going to, the fur is going to come down, but we've got to do something to this before we commit to that. So let's take my, this is V-tool. Now we're still going to shape that quite a bit. I'll do that now. I'll take much less of this off here. Okay, the thing I want to do with the tough before, we're getting close to get, finally getting into the face. But one thing I want to do, other than cleaning up, let's clean this up first. This is what I'm talking about using thumb and flat, and you get some nice, sharp, nice, clean cuts. Rock it just a little bit. Push with the thumb. See how clean that is? That's a thing, one of the things that I've been learning. Remedial carving. Use that thumb. Oops, and don't pry. I just pried. It's okay to use it to, to, to push what is broken out of the way. Now I have to use the tip here. And I can use the tip to push it push the wood away. 
but be careful about prying. I have, and I'm sure everybody else here is, who's been carving for a while has lost a tip. Broken the tip straight down. See, I can't with my thumb. Nice and clean. Ooh, I wonder what I did there. I'll fix that later. I'll fix that when we do the the beard. Is everything else pretty well cleared up? Straight, straight. Okay, this is what I want to do in the back first. Is this? Where are you? The hat, as compared here, the hat brim goes back like this because if, you, if the hat is and the brim is like this, then therefore the brim should be this way. It's, I guess I didn't as much, but that's okay. But it should also be the same in the back. And we are going to commit, oops, we don't want to commit metal to metal, that's for sure. Does it bring this in? Just a little bit. And with that, we're going to have to... See, now it's starting to get a little more. This is what we want here and here. I didn't rack it very well. too close to me. All right, I'm going to put in the tough and I think I actually commit to the tough. And I think we can get going on the face, which was one of the main reasons why we're doing this carving. But there's still a lot of setup you got to do just before you get to the face or the hand or feet or whatever. Now, we're, I'm pretty well committed to this. It's either here it's either here or thinner. I'll go wider for now. Again, we could take we could take uh, take this back if ever we need to. This is my L tool. Away from the tough, away from the fur into the top of the hat. cuticle glove right now. I think I can get away with cutting this off without hurting myself, hopefully. And there we're committed. While we got the V, what I will do is use the, the head. This is what I was talking about before, is using the flat. I could use a knife, but sometimes if I get a little too lazy and put the Put this down and pick up a knife again. It always, most of the time, I bury. And so maybe that's what I should do for a cleanup, a little bit of a cleaning up. Use the tip in that case. Taking some of the uglies off. And now that we got a good edge from the V tool, the L tool. As it were, I'm just going to do a little bit. I mean, I'm going to definitely going to be coming back. But I want to take all as much uglies off as I can because it does bother me. Take some of the pencil marks off. Clean this up a little bit. Okay. If I hold this here and I go up and I zoom, begin to zoom in. Now here's going to be the problem is how much play do I got before you start hollering at me because I got it too far off. All right. Holler at me if it's off so I can put it back in. 
that's one of the good things about doing um, these web these zoom classes is that if the instructor does get a little off you can holler hey so do my do a border here if I can that means I gotta get in here stay in here there's not is there a left and right issue I don't think so but okay first thing I want to do the notes Let's get, dig pretty deep. I do want to start out. Whoops, the scrape. I hate the scrape. I didn't put the knife in deep enough. Buried the tip there. Okay, I want to make sure I'm going to put this in. dry line back in there's still a little bit of clean up and what I want to do is from here up so the nose let's do a profile I mean there's still quite a bit of nose but is this deep enough for what you want maybe one more scoop maybe okay put the make sure I got the eye line back in and it's kind of interesting he asked the question how how much is that eye line danced from where it started center line back in all right maybe just a little bit of this just to keep my bearings going all right here's the thing that's different from the rest from what I've done before. I think I may have started in on on the last Santa carving is a thing that's even a little different from there is that uh, well, first I can talk and get, some, get a drink is it depends on what kind of Santa you want. This is going to be a ho 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 Santa which means it's going to have big cheeks as opposed to the old world Santa which is going to have some cheeks, but more of a narrower nose. And so here's here's the difference between the two. Is you take your knife on this side and on this side and in the center. <clears throat> now it's going to be a sharp, you know, this way, this way. What is it like a sharp 10 degrees either side? Now I got the, the tuft in the way here. Let me... I take some of that off because it's going to be rounded a bit. So I'm doing this in prep, but not really there. And it's going to be sharp and sharp. And you know what? I'm going to have to, because of that, I'm going to have to sharp, which is about, what is that? 20 degrees one way, 20 degrees the other. So you got something like this. Other side. So it's like this, kind of like the angry eyes. Not too, not too. All right, now with that, I'm going to do this. I want to get those eye line back in. It's basically in the center there. So the nose. Do the same thing with the nose. And that is, you can add an angle and away from the nose. Now this is fine, this is about, you do this to practically all, most all the nose. But when we come back, another about 20 degrees. Like that. Same with the eyes, sharp. And as you can see, we are trying to leave as much. Now this one here, I didn't go as wide enough. I wanted to make him sort of a bulbous nose. He had a nice bulbous nose, but unfortunately I didn't pay attention. But he'll still have a good nose, a good rel relatively wide nose. Away from the nose, and just barely, like 20 degrees in. I mean, 
it's hard for me to take like a ruler. Yeah, the nose is still pretty good. Now, he, yeah, he looks like he's an angry guy. But here's a couple of things that we're going to do. We're going to be coming back with a chisel, but I still want to use the knife. The reason why I want to use a chisel, which I'll show you later on, instead of saying, well, why don't you just go straight into doing the chisel? You could do that if you know what you're doing right off. And this is kind of, I'm trying to teach a little, little bit of something. I would rather have knife cuts to help guide the chisel. So I'm going to take a little chip right here, just a chip. Just to commit to a little bit of roundness. Even though, yeah, we're going to take chisels and <coughs> make it better. But this gets... We can see what we're doing here. This gets us to see what we're, what we're, what's happening. Now you can see those cheeks are starting to come out. I'm going to do a little bit around this here, just a little bit, and a good chunk of that is going to go away. I mean, you can see there's a lot of squareness to it, and which I just did. Now you will notice it kind of has the impression that the face is a little bit too over. We got too much on this side. That's fine because we're going to be. Again, we're going to be taking quite a bit off. Okay, then we want to take the nose and just a little bit of this, a little triangle, and also the same with to, to the cheek, not too much. <coughs> same with my still in, same with this side. Just a little, just a little bit. Now the cheek is going to, that's probably what's the difference there. That kind of helps. Because we want to take some of that sharpness off. Don't worry about it being too sharp or too close to the nose or whatever. I still want it just a little bit more here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I could see it. Here's another thing that's not right. This, this angle was not the same. It is now. Uh, does that mean I might have to come in a little more? Be careful not to take the cheek away. Now you can start seeing. Here, let's do it thus far. I just did a sharp 20 degrees on the eye line. Sharp about 10 to 20 degrees on the nose. Now you can get kind of close to the nose, but it's the cheek you don't want to take away from. And this is going to be quite a bit opposite from our old world Santa where this is going to be much wider and it's going to even help sh uh, oops, help shape the nose that's what we'll do on that one but we want to keep this as cheeky as he can nose was a little too should add a little wider but that's fine that's all i have here but it's still fine because it's different okay now i just want to pull back from that from a while be careful, just do a little bit, just a little bit. Taking, some, oh, careful, some of the depth off. We got kind of where the shoulder is. Now I do want to put in the pencil. Now usually like I have him, I've always done him as, I call it the hot, happy mustache. So it goes up. Goes up like that's happy. Here's the old sort of a wizard. So this thing can also be uh, also as a wizard, not only an a, a old world Santa. But I kind of want to commit. Oh, look at that. We did get off a little bit. Where are you? Oh, 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 there. Now, in order to make the, the happy mustache let's put the face in now i want to go i want to look at this side first because this, we don't have much uh, wood here so it's going to come up and i want to still bring it down a little bit because we're going to go farther down so we can make it make the cheek more cheekier there whereas uh that may or may not work I don't, oops. I 
still think that there's too much on that side, but we're going to take the chisel and we're going to take our L chisel away from to the hair, away from the face, into the hair. Now this is the thing that's difficult. Now you notice as I'm carving here, I'm not looking at the face where when I'm carving here, I'm looking at the face and sometimes they don't mix because of that. So it's something for you to watch out for. Well, I'm going to do this just to kind of take some of the... No, I guess it's probably not going to work, so I'll, I'll cut that out of there. Okay, before we get the mustache in... No, let's put the mustache in while we have our V-tool. While we have our V-tool and we're working on that, uh, let's do our... We got a little bit of shaping here, just a little bit. I'm just cleaning, cleaning and shaping because then when I get the mustache in, like I said, the face moved a little bit on me, but we're okay. We can make some adjustments. Now, I don't want, I am looking for more of a, now usually I have this, I'll put this in. I think it's, I have a lot of this. That's a good quick Santa mustache, happy mustache. Oops. Make sure both sides look good. But what I want to do is a little bit more up to where the mouth would be and do something like this. So it's still a fairly happy mustache. It's just a little different. I'm doing things because then we'll see more of the mouth. What's supposed to happen is, of course, the... And I don't, I don't show this. I don't, I, I don't like to show this because you're still going to have the upper part of the mouth and then you're going to have the lower part. You can do that. Uh, but it's still going to be, that's why I don't want it to be too sharp. Too far up, I'm sorry. Too far up. If you want to do that, have the upper cheek. Or upper cheek. The upper, sorry. We can have upper. So we're going to take our L tool, again, away from the mustache, into the beard, away from the mustache, into the beard. So we're somewhat committing on a mustache. All right. <clears throat> I would like to play with the mustache just a little bit before we get into the eyes, the major part. And I, I just want to still commit tip or the uh, knife as much as less tip as you can straight down some of the edge. Am I getting out of view again? That's a good go straight down. A little, little bit of uglies there. Bring this around. Straight edge. Straight edge across, straight edge down. Nice and clean. Make sure we're still not it's the other way. So when I put it upside down, it does change. We can do the shaping later. Like I said, we're more like committing. All right, here we go. I'm going to start into, well, let's do a profile here. Not thus far. But that eye is going to get in a little bit. Here's where the round tools come in. You could, now you could if you want to. Um, what, notice what I did here. In fact, it's getting pretty close for me to start using my, my scout. And I did this. Because I went across, so I went this way and this way. And then I took this, cor this uh, quarter, this uh, quarter, corner out. Let's do another change up if you want to. 
if you want to keep it like this, almost like a, a, a flat plane carving, then you just simply take your knife in and he has a closed eye happy look and call it good right there. With the exception of, let's widen this a little bit. And that'll help the V tool or the round tool a little bit. This would make a good, pretty decent uh, flat plane Santa. Maybe a little bit of, a little bit of opening for the eyes. But I'm going to do the same thing that I've done here. And this is something again. It's you see a lot of the figurines. I want to take this to make the nose a little more bulbous to help the chisel a little bit. Again, that's perfect as is if you want to. All right, let's take my, it's between these two. I don't want to, I'm going to take the smaller one to be on the safe side. And we're just going to go across my stand and just simply go across and get rid of that. Actually, that's that uh, straight edge that I got in there, and just scoop up a little bit of for the nose, so that the sharpness and the uglies that I got in there are out of the way. They're out of there, but I think oh, get back here with my light. Is it in the way? No. That same thing coming back. They're gonna go across. Where are you? Because it's upside down. And try to take just a little bit of a scoop because I still want some eh, depth right there. We still want some of the depth. We're going to have to come back and keep shaping. We're still basically shaping. And I want to get all the way down. So now you can see how things are happening here. It's something o'clock. I forgot the birds. It's winter time. I have to start all over again. Whatever is that? I think that's a uh, um, a tanager or a warbler or not a warbler, a wren. Not even a wren. House, yeah, house finch. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm gonna play with since this is a different size than the last one. I might play with this a little bit. Let's see what happens. If I were to play with this a little bit here with a wider chisel. Now, I'm not going to go too deep down uh, on the nose that much. Now, if I go down too deep, you'll notice that I was doing some edges here. Just a little bit down, but not completely. And come back and do the same here. Do the same here. Okay. Now you're starting to see some roundness. Now you're starting to see some ho 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 ness to this. Everything for, other than the eyes, we'll put the put the uh, let's put the beard in. Let's just take a break and take put the beard in. We just need to do a little bit of cleanup, put the eyes in, a little bit of the mouth. Gotta put the mouth in. You know what? what? It is time for my scout. Oh, I love this scout when you get to this point. Ooh, it just, I just love the way this thing works. This tool carves a smaller blade. I use it mostly for my um, detailing, but also when you're getting close to the endness. And he's just gonna have a simple. Oops. Now the thing that's very interesting, sometimes I do two birds with one stone. In other words, once I pick up a chisel, I kind of do something else. Now this is my number 11, really small. Oh my goodness, what is that? It's one of the smallest. And I'll use that instead of a V-tool. Be careful I don't bury the edges. That's the thing about the smaller the round tool, the more the edge will get buried. And you commit something like that. So while I have this tool, sorry, now I'm going to come back over here. This is what I want to bury. 
is I want to get some of this. Where are you? That's what I want, so we're rounding the eye. I do that a lot. I'm more of a, once I got a specific tool, I might as well do the other piece or pieces. And kind of round it a little bit. Kind of round it a little bit. And see, now we're starting to see the eyes rounding. You see the lips are in. Now we're really getting somewhere. Now, now I'm going to take my V and use the edge, but not, I don't want to. Okay, sorry about the shutdown. Uh, I ran out of rum. I ran out of rum from my computer. The thing that I, that I have mentioned before that uh, what I did was I took a larger round tool and I just kind of cleaned this up a little bit. We'll come back to it, come back to it. But while I'm sitting there waiting for the, the video to download, I was going to mention how we can make this into a bust. And so I took this to the, to the saw and cut this up a little bit. I also noticed that because we have this going on here that we got too much on this side. So we'll work with that. And of course I did this in the back. So I'll talk more about it. We'll work out a little bit more, but that's what I want to do. If you don't, if you don't want, if you want to keep it as a block, that's fine. But here, it's more of a nice bust that we could work on. All right, I'm going to leave the eyes to last. Where are you here? I'm going to get back to a little wider. The reason why uh, the eyes are usually one of the last details. That we we want to do. There's still a little bit more um, cleaning up or, or pushing a lot of wood. And I thought the reason why you want to wait for the details at the end, of course, is for for obvious reasons. So if you goof up or whatever, but when you start, you know, using all this muscle, and, and you're really covering hard, and then when you get to the detail, you want to you got to take that step back and and be careful. You're going to take more wood off than you should. So I want to get to the beard a little bit here and just keep adjusting the big stuff. Again, my L tool away from the mustache. And around. And the hair. A little bit of this. I don't know how that's going to work yet. I was using too much V instead of L. There we go. Now I want to do quite a bit of adjusting for the base in order to fit the beard. Now the thing you'll notice about the beard is how square it is. And so if we do our adjustments, in fact, I want to do the first cleaning up of the base part. No, it's got nothing again, it's got nothing to do with the face, but I'm gonna do two birds with one stone. Let's make a nice scoop. So it's gonna be like tall, deep, and then kind of straight. Like this. And of course, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this off. Pardon me. Almost forgot. So this is the first round. We're getting the base straightened out because we're gonna. We're going to come, the base is going to be, this is still going to, this is still be the chest area, and we're going to put some tufts in there, uh, some fur in there. So in other words, we're going to have to even round the base a little bit. Am I still in? And you could do this with a knife, but I think a chisel like this will make it more round. Uh, I, I will probably end up using the knife because I'll, I might want it a little cleaner, unless you want that nice, um, let me say the, the knife cut. Chisel cut. Same here. A little bit of roundness. It's a concave. That's how you can get the two between. A concave means it's in. Or a con convex means it's out. It's a cave. 
Okay, we're just getting started with that. Now, we want to unsquare this. Not only are we going to bring this in. Now, this is going to be the chest area. This is not particularly the base. Now, the base, like here, you won't paint. You'll just stain it or, or something like that. That's not part of the body, obviously. Am I still in? Now I want to round this a little bit, just a little bit, because this is his chest. And if we round this, like I said, I like to take a lot of the heavy, heavy um, wood off. And like I said, I was breathe. I'm going to do a little, make this a little slower. So let me recap. I guess I went, went carried away here for, careful we don't hit that cheek. And that's what we want to do. We want to round this. Just a curve. Same with the back. I think there's more. I need more over here. A curve. And we'll curve it some more. That's not, that's not good as far as here. But we'll adjust it. But like I said, like I said, I'm just getting started. And we took a little bit more of this off. I think I might, might need a little more. And then round it a little bit here. And we'll adjust as we need. Again, we want, we want this side here. Round a little bit. So we can round, oops. So we can round the beard a little bit. Okay, now I got quite a bit of the heavies off. I might clean this just, well, no, I don't want to use this tool. I'd rather use a knife, but I want to keep rounding. Get that cat hair off of me here, round it a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of annoying having cat hair. Okay, hear people saying, I know how you can get around that. Don't have a cat, have a dog. Like dog hair is any better? Okay, now that I pushed a lot of wood off, let me show you. Other than the chips here, this is what. Uh, other than the uglies, there I'll take care of that. And I just want to take care of of um, a lot of the this heavy stuff. I and mean, here, this is going to round a little bit. Yeah, I was trying to even that out, and that all disappeared. All that work. Some of those uglies out of there. A little more rounding. I could start doing that with a knife now. And let's keep going. I think I'm done with the chisel for now. And I just want to fix this up, clean this up. Straight edge. Straight edge. You may have to rotate a little bit. Straight edge, still in. That's why I'm still kind of distant from the camera because I still have it's a lot of bit of heavy roughing out, as it were. And then I just want to take the saw marks off and just edge this a little bit here. Careful, careful. By the mouth. But I want to round it. And uh, take the, I still got to round this a bit. Now it doesn't, being the hair, it doesn't matter if you got some cut marks in there. 
knife marks. As I mentioned before many times, the hair is imperfect. Now here's what I want to do to the beard a little bit, because I want to get working on the beard. Well, it's two things I want to do. First of all, I want to take the tip again. I've mentioned this. I think it's time for me to zoom in just a little bit, just a little bit, hopefully. Where's my chisel is right there. So if, so if I'm here, i got to have my chisel here. I just want to put a little bit of a bend. Put a little bit of caricature, caricature on the beard. So as you're put the knife down and eat your your eyebrow. Oops, careful. You know where that blade's coming out. I don't want to chomp into the to the mouth there. And a little bit of slicing motion. So we got a little bit of a bend here. Or a scoop, whatever you want to call it. Same here. Because it's going down to the shoulder from the hair. There's a little bit of a chatter. Now this is going to be fun. Well, I'm here just take a little bit of this off because there's still quite a bit more of that's coming off. I may want to come down a little bit to clean, but again, that's that's going to go away when we do the beard. We put the marks in the beard, any bit of chatter. Same here. While I'm doing this, and thing that I have mentioned in the beginning, sort of a little message where it's telling you to, this is a good time to start thinking about your Santas for next Christmas. Whether you're seeing this just right now, right after I finished, I round this a little bit. And that would be after um, Valentine's Day. So well after Christmas. Christmas of last year is long gone. We're already starting to think of hope, hopefully think of spring. I like to get the President's Day, Mattress Day sales are coming up. This is a good time to at least start thinking about it, even get started, especially if you're seeing this in June or you've seen this here on a lake. And that's what you can do before you go on your lake. Before you go up to the lake, bring a, some pieces of wood and a knife. And I know you want to do a little bit, a little bit of uh, wood carving. That's time to do some Santas. It's really fun doing Santas sitting in a in a lawn chair at the lake and listen to the kids swimming in the water while you're carving the Santas, because no sooner. Then you carve one Santa then, all of a sudden it's Christmas time. Oh my goodness, I only got one Santa done and I got others to do. This is the time to do it. Same with me here. I am so busy with the shows and stuff. I do not have time to carve, te teach or show different patterns of Santas. I'm sorry, I got out of I got out of play here. What I did is I round it and you scoop and slice at the same time and this is the time wherever you're at is the time to get those sandas done for your grandkids and kids and that's what you want to give your kids and grandkids for christmas is a carving from grandpa that they can have forever and ever and you know i gotta tell you i don't care you right now your kid grandkid is so young he doesn't care Especially, or he's older and all he wants or she wants is a phone and, and a video game and hip hop and all that kind of stuff. Your kid, when their kid grows up, grandkid grows up, kid grows up, they are way going to appreciate it then. 
Sorry it's not now, but they will then. Okay, here, let you look at that while I reach down and get a sip. All right, where are we? I don't know, just let's do this quick. Sorry, one of these in quick. Where's our straight, our center line, basically? We'll move over a little bit. Where are you? Right there. And just do one of these. Do one of these here. Do one of these here. Even if you have to move it over a little bit to make it work. Probably fix it later. Maybe a little more here. And there's his coat. Where's our V tool? We'll start with the V. That's in the center here. Clean that up later. Where's our L tool? Away from the fur into the coat. L tool away from the fur into the coat. I'm glad we did this quick. Am I still in or out? I let it turn it over. It should be in. And there'll be more adjustments later. Right now, let's just get Get the, the pencil marks off. You might want to go deeper. More than likely we will. Maybe get one more. Put your thumb if you're, no. Well, let's do this. Take a little bit off at a time. Getting a little chippy here. Let's see if the L tool will help a little bit. And I got too chippy and I think I may have goofed it, but we'll round it. So let's see if we can do that. Get this deeper. If we get this deeper, then we round it the other way. Oh, where are you? Round it a little bit this way. And we could say that's what we had planned. Let's do it on the other side. There's still plenty of room. Plenty of wood if I did this. Get this a little deeper. And I will adjust later. Now well, it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. There was the scrape. A little bit of adjustment here. Okay, we'll call it good for now. Let's get the tuft. Now we relatively happy with the tuft up here. Now here's what we want to do with the hat is that, remember we got the head. Now we can still have the hat a little flat. But we don't, we don't want it thinner than the head, but we don't want it too much thicker than the head either. So now I'm using, excuse me, using my L tool. Away from the away from the fur. Away from the fur. Oh, here comes cat. Now I want to get this away from the what do you call that? There's the ball and the what is that called again? With this the hang down. Now while I got the V, and it's a V this time, I'm gonna just do it just to get this in here. It's a quick, quick, quickie, and I'll take care of that. Well, as a matter of fact, let's do that now. Now let me just straighten this out first before we get into the more detailed part, detailed part of this hat. 
the oh I just what is that called the the hanging part you're probably shouting at me what the heck does that say let's get a little deeper here just to keep the roundness now they call it is it called the tassel or the ball and tassel I was thinking tassel was this part Well, if I'm going to carve Santas, you better know what it's called. As long as I know what it does. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to do the round the ball a little bit here. Where are you? Just beginning to round it. And you know what? What the heck? Let's get my... That's better. Oh, this is a better knife. Well, it's better for stuff like this. We're kind of done with the roughing out. I mean, my rough out knife is still okay, but oh man, I love the Scout. Oh, I love this. And if I can remember, I will write down my, like a, have, have you go to my vendor. There's a guy in, in town here who does all kinds of nice and OOC. Oh, oh, CTs are one of them. Now I'm going to start going in. I'm going to start doing this in because uh, we're starting to do a little bit of more detail. Get some shadow going on here. And here's what we want to... The other reason why we want to do this side first is that whatever we do on this side, we want to do almost on the other side. I'm going to do a little bit of triangle or chip carving. Chip, chip. Third, second one, here's the third one, and that should, my favorite word, come out. Round it a little bit more. Now I want to take my V and bring this up a little bit more. Well, now am I still in? Take my scout. And now I'm going to go in about 10 degrees, 10-ish degrees in. I'm doing an undercut now. And then come back around, I'll try to do as much flat edge and less tip as you can in something like this. And see, what that does is it creates that shadow. I love that, that shadow. A little bit of cleaning up here. Same with on the other side. A little bit of uh, in, it's going to be undercut. Come around, be careful. You tip, that you don't take your tip off when you route, rotate. Try to use as much edge as you can. Oops. Take a little bit of the, the let's get uh, let's get this ball so we're doing some detail we're, we're in fact we might even come back a little bit when we do the when we put the tough dents in right in okay uh, I want to do just a little bit of cleaning up here because I'm going to put the I'm going to put the the um, beard mustache fur in right now because the reason why, especially before we do the eyes, is there's a lot of oomph to it. And before we do this, um, I'm going to take one of my the biggest round tool here. And I'm going to put this, it's almost like an L tool, where I'm using the edge and bringing it up like this. And then I'll load it this way. And it does something like that. Now you could put a V in there. You can sharpen it a little bit. I'm not going to. 
Okay, let's see. Is everything else straightened up before we get into the because of the tufts, the fur rather, and the the beard, and then all that's left would be the mustache or the I'm sorry, mustache, the eyes and the nose. Now it's a little bit of face. Okay, I've got to put what I want to do. Push this back a little bit so I can uh, head head back a little bit. So so what I got to do is this. Make sure watch the round cheek and try to get the fat edge as much as you can, as little tip as you can. And you can see how it brings the face out a little bit that's what we want and we went around this a little bit here bring the mustache back see now we got some three-dimensionality going on here I like that and I want to bring this here and hopefully I mean when I when I get the when I start doing some finer details or cleaning up, I'll do kind of the same thing I got right here, right here, and put it on the edges here. So it gives a little bit of a of a um, sh shade shadow. Now here, what we did on this side, we're gonna do on this side. So this time, now remember the cheeks are wide. We in there wide, and then in with the eyes, where the eyes gonna be. Now this is going to be the fun part. Let's put this in here like this, a little right there. Now I can see if this is going to work. All right. And a little bit of this. And what's going to happen, you'll see, now that this is coming out a bit, I think we can get a little more. Get the knife in there. Is one of two things. I could probably leave it like that. I, I can. I was going to think about a straight, more of a straighter edge, a straighter chisel to get in there. I think we could probably leave that for now. <coughs> Bring this around. Now he's really starting to look good. Again, there's a lot of bit of cleanup, a little bit of fur, or a little bit of. This and that. Let's bring this in just a little bit to match the other side. And I think we're ready to put the the beard and the fur in. I usually like to start with my largest number 11. Where are you? And just do from the side. Horizontal. Where are you here? Where are you? A little bit horizontalness now you can use a smaller chisel if you want but a white is good enough especially for the fur I make that as white as I can and I'll have to come back with the knife now same with the other fur here same with the ball like I see I still got some saw marks left but there it goes last of the saw marks where are you still there and you turn what happens is like i said with the knife is that you do a little bit of a turn oh let me fix this i thought i'd be as you do a little bit of a turn and a twist because it would while you're pushing is because then it, it slices Should have left the other side alone. That's got a little screw. I'll take a knife to that later. Well, here, let's do that right now. Here we go for a cleanup or a fix, rather. So that brought it back to being round ish. All right, chisel. 
probably could have used my glove, but same thing, push and turn. That's pretty good here because you're against the green. All the way around. Well, that could have slipped on me. And even with this, you know, I think if I go this way, this is still a good Christmas gift, even just the bust. It's not working here very well. Okay, so, oh, then, then we got the beard. Now the beard is, you want to do as much scoop as straight up as you can, turn straight. I'm going to get a little deeper here, sorry. Sorry about that. Usually I start that way, I start kind of too light. Now it's Robin o'clock. Getting close to lunchtime. Now the thing about doing that turn or that bend is that as we now we're going uphill. So we may want to come back. Now we're going on this edge, but the thing is is we're still going uphill. I have to get a smaller round tool in there. Now, one of the things I should have done, and I should mention, is that when you do something like this, maybe it would be best if you start with the back, if you're going to experiment with something, because at least the back, you know, you won't see it if you goof up or have to straighten up. Okay, there we get with that. And I might have to take a knife to get in to clean that up. And again, it's just more adjusting and cleaning and cleaning and adjusting. I don't want to show too much of that. A little bit of cleaning if you can. Then with the moustache, where's a smaller, I'm missing one. Where did he roll off somewhere? It's not the V, it's got this one, this one, I think it's the second one. Oh, there he is. I think this one is what I want. Let's take, shape it a little bit so it goes around. It goes around. Because we want the we want the mustache to go around the mustache clean the center get as much of the pencil mark off and we'll just do this just a rounding as we twisting as we go. here while we're at it like I said we can clean later because 
let's get to the nose and eyes, forehead. Here we go. Now, here comes the fun part. Let's see how much I can do this without the visor. So if I bring this up, like right here, round the nose, we're rounding the nose and taking the pencil marks off at the same time. Just a little bit of rounding. Rounding the nose. Make sure we're still on. I'm not going to run out of... This is not the time to run out of, out of space. Rounding and cleaning. Taking the pencil marks off. And again... Um, I will get under my visor either, let's see if I can do the eyes without the visor. I want to round the cheeks a little more. Now you're going to be rounding the cheeks a little bit more when we get under the eye, doing the eye or under the eye. And I hope we're not going to take much of the roundness off of the cheek. I hope we're not. Oops, I buried the tip. Roundness this way. Around this this way a little bit. This way a little bit. <sighs> now one of my favorite Christmas movies that's on Netflix is is Klaus. If you ever seen a K L A U or K-L-A-S, or K-L-U-A-S. And the artwork is just really very stylized. And with that, if you go with that, again, I'm getting you back to woodcarvingacademy.com. And uh, Dave Stetson does sort of his sort of version of Klaus, which is incredible stylized. I took it. When it was live, it's there now. That is, I'm gonna do a little bit of scoop here. Okay, a little bit of fixing in the nose because here's we want to make sure we got this depth here that we put in this depth right here. And here, that's exactly what we wanted because here we go the eyeballs, a little bit of cleaning up. Now, let's get a Let's get a close-up here of the wherefores right now. Where we're at. Where are you? Right there. Now we're going to do some cleaning up in the back. Again, here's the front. And, of course, one thing, profile, you always look. But here's one of the things you also got to look. Let's see how far off we're at when we're like this. There's a nose, could stand a little bit of dip right there. One cheek might be a little bigger than the other, but I think we might be okay. Uh, now the mustache is imperfect, you know, I don't have to really be too perfect with it. Now the forehead, I don't have to do that either because we're going to be coming to the forehead. But I like to start off So again, before we get into it, all right, now with the nose, I'm going to do one little quickie with the nose here. Where are you? Should we do this? Make sure both sides are pretty decent. Now I want to come in here. Where are you? I'm going to come in just a little bit. I'm going to start with the outside first. Then you come on the inside. And you pull that away. Outside first, then the inside, and that should start to chip away. Now the thing is, you'll notice that the diff the separation. I got kind of a wide, wider separation. You can have a thinner separation. Again, when we do the oh, look at that right there. Well, I'll clean that up later. And this a little later too. 
while we're at it, let's put that in then. Make sure the other side is fine. This, this, so it adds more roundness. Now you can have these things, these two nostril holes closer, and maybe one a little, little, one is a little smaller than the other one, but again, in just adjustment. All right, here we get. This is going to be the fun part, the eyeballs. I'm going to put my regular glasses on. Now, <clears throat> I had to stop, uh, run a little bit on power, but I just want to make sure that I had enough of everything to do this, and now I'm trying to make myself as comfortable as I can doing the eyeballs, as close as I can, because I got my visor on, what I need, and I am sure I am going to bump into the camera a few times, looking up to make sure that I, I'm in. Right now, I want to... Um, straighten out the eye a little bit, the eye area. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, yeah, as perfect as you can. We'll put the eyes on, and again, I'll have to come back and do cleanup later. Well, on that, I see the nose. Now the nose is much bigger. I'll doc, clean it up later. Anyways, let's get our eye line back in. I think we, I still see it. I'm looking up. What do we got here? Make sure I'm in. All right. Now the eye. I want to separate the eye right about here. Right about here, how does that look? A little wide, I'm thinking. A little narrower, so that means this will go here. If I were to narrow that a little bit in here. All right, there's our eyes. Or the, di the, the different distance between the eyes. Um, generally, now he's going to, his eyes going to be a little wider from each other, which is okay. <clears throat> we don't want them to be too uh, close to each other. It doesn't look like he's cross-sided. Now I want to go up and then come kind of down like this and a little bit of scoop. Up. Come down like this, a little bit of a scoop. And here's, here's another thing, a different way I'm going to do this. Now we'll do this with the ladies for sure. Uh, I have done this with the with the Santas uh, with average success, some success. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a medium, not too, not too hard, not too deep, but not too shallow either. I'm going in there. Same on this side. So we can go up, around, and down. Now what I want to do first is I want to just take a little bit of this off first. Go up to the eye first instead of doing both sides. This helps a little bit, especially with the ladies. It helps best. And then I want to just get it started on both sides. Now we'll put in my pencil, the bottom, bottom just a little. Now he's got to chub your, chub your tree, cheeks and kind of smiling. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of wide and a little bit of wide on the one side and kind of wide on, on the other, on the outside. Now we'll do the same thing, upside down, <clears throat> a little white on the outside, my in, 
Where are you? White on the outside, a little narrow on the inside, and then come up. A little narrow on the inside, go down, and make it white. Oops, white on the outside, and come up. Now let's take that off. I guess it didn't go as deep as I wanted to, as I should have. Make sure I'm still in. And now we're going to round the ball a little bit. I just want to get it started this way. It's a little bit of reverse of what I've done before. It's a different way of doing eyes. You can do the same way that I've showed before. I'm just showing a different style of eyes or style of uh, doing an eye. Then we come back and we do the in and in. Turn it around. In. In. Now here's the thing that I've learned is we come down and just this little extra turn right here. This is one of the things you'll, you'll see from the guys at the wood carving. Academy. What did I do in on this side? Did I? Okay, we take that chip out. I neglected to do this side here where we come in and just a little bit of a scoop. It adds a little bit to it, a little bit of fun to his eye. Come this way. come this way. Now the thing about the, the OCCT knives that I like about it is that the tip is not as, as uh, it's a more, it's not a sharper tip. I don't know that that's the best way to put it. It's the, the angle. See how the angle, where are you? Where are you? As opposed to this knife here. This is like an old desk. Where are you? Oh, where are you? Oh, there you are. We can try it. Now, the good news, well, it's this, it's this knife here. It's an old Dastra, and I came, sharpened it down into a detailing knife. Uh, the thing is, it's, not, it's too, this way, it's too wide. Where are you? Right there. See, it's wide this way. And therefore, it doesn't, it isn't as smooth of a cut, but I still can probably get, get it in there. And that's like most of a good chunk of the work right there. Now it's getting kind of a little, you need a little straight edge and straight edge to be a little cleaner. This little straight edge, taking the, take the pencil off. Okay, now, oh here, sorry. What we want to do is we want the top part of the eye, <coughs> excuse me, ball. And uh, to be farther out than the bottom part. And I'll show you as soon as I get this clean here. Let's do this. See, in other words, here is higher than here. Because the, the pupil will be about here. And we want to make sure come back a little more this way. Not only we're going to take some of that pencil mark off, but I want to bring this back because you should, when you're giving it a profile, should see. Where are you? Since you're running out of space, which I shouldn't, I did unload. So while I got this knife. This blade, I want to do just a little bit of scoop. You could take a round tool, and we probably could, but I, I prefer it a more a, a scoop this way. And just a scoop for the bottom eye eyelid is what I want. Okay. 
Now taking off some of those pencil marks and rounding, I want to take my smaller V tool and put in, clean that out. And I forgot to do one of these. Oh, scrape. I hate scrape, so we can still see the eyeball. Uh, I'll have to adjust that. All right, my smaller V reached down. It's a nice little uh, flex cut. And I'm just a little bit above the eyebrow, or eye, the eye itself, to create the eyelid. There we go. Same on this side. Now we take our detailing knife and we want to cut in. Can you see here? Cut in. Nice firm. So it's like away from the and then the eyebrow, or I from the eyebrow. Now we're going to bring this towards the eyebrow as flat as you can, or straight as you can, straight edge as you can. And yes, you can get some pretty decent eyes. <sighs> With a carving this small. Same here on this side. Are we in? Then as flat as we can. I didn't go as far enough on this side, I'm pretty sure. flat or straight edge as we can <sighs> while you're looking at it you look at it here and you see my brush is the brush out my brush oh. whoops oh, I had a disaster <sighs> there we go Now there's a little bit of uh, cleaning up here and there, but before we do that, we still got the eyebrow. The eyebrow, where are you? I think I'll use this knife here. And scoop, scoop, straight edge, straight edge scoop. We still in straight edge scoop. Got a little bit of slice as we go, as we push. I should have checked the forehead before I did this, but that's okay. Now we're almost like, like this getting kind of the, the old Herman Munster look. And I just want to do a little bit of, I didn't do it on that, on this guy, on the, this guy here. I could, you could leave it like that, you know, and call it good if you want to. But I like to add this extra here which will raise the eyebrows and then we where are you He's still in we take just a corner quarter uh, corner piece off that so he won't look angry we don't want him to look angry and again there's a little bit of cleaning up of this and that and just a little bit of rounding here a little bit of rounding here and bring it up this way this way and I want to make just a little bit of as I open just a little bit so we're getting into there and a little bit there. Now, a little bit of just in here and there. Whew. 
Now, before we put the eyebrows in, the eyebrow here in, let's see what we've got so far. The nose, you can round the nose, adjust the nose you want. I'm going to keep it as is, uh, as far as the round roundness. There's almost the nose is kind of a little square, but I want a little bit of cleaning up. But get back to my V. Where are you? Yeah, just a little bit away, away. And away from the center. I need to get in here. This is a little straightened out here when I add this in. How you can use, uh, what you can also do is uh, get us, you start with the wide on the, on the hair, and you could just go with the narrower to make it more, but this is what I want to do. This all I do is just like that and leave it like that. Uh, some odds and ends. Uh, I want to get the let's get the hole a little of the mouth a little deeper because he's because that's a mouth, not a not a tongue. Adjust that. Careful with the tip. Uh, like like I said, you want to use like diamond shape and not round because what you do if you get round, you're gonna you're gonna break that tip. So. I will take my brush and basically with the exception of cleaning up this and that I'll come back after I clean it up but this is it as far as the eyes the face let's go back here it is 99 and 44 100 percent done did I forget anything look I think the eyes might need a little adjustment a little on well, what I did mention before is this. Let's see if we can do this right away. Is put that in, and just about it's about a ten degree one way and ten degree the other. And when you pull this out, it has that shadow. I like that shadow. I don't think did I do it on this side. So there's like a lot, just it's we're down to cleaning up now. Um, oh, where's my brush? I got a piece in there that won't get there. We go. Okay, there we go. Generally, I'm done with it. Let's see what we got on. Right, let me take my visor off. Then I can. Yeah. Oh, there you are. And we'll clean it. We'll clean it up. There's a lot of cleaning up to do, but that's generally it. Odds and ends. Oh my goodness! A little, a little roundness there. And there we are. And I'll clean it up and come right back to you. Uh, we're finished with uh, this uh, Santa bust here. I did do quite a bit of cleaning up. Let's see if we can like zoom in, get into a better position here. Maybe a little need a little more cleaning, but and there we have it. Now stay tuned for the next, and that would be the Mrs. Claus. And uh, we'll see you, see you in the next video.